I get tired of sitting on that chair, so I thought I would do a little talk while I take my morning exercise, just walking up and down the driveway. Anyway, I want to talk about live streams and video conferencing and how we can communicate, how we can build community and relationships. So, so far, the communication has been mostly from me to you, one way. Huh? But I not only want to talk, I want to listen. I want to hear from you. That way, I can present what is more relevant to your situation. And I can probably help you better. If you will open up to me, let me know what you think and what you need. So with that in mind, I'm proposing two innovations in our program. And one is the streaming videos on YouTube, live streams. And of course, we're going to do the first live stream tomorrow. The first one in a while. It's been months, I think, since we did one. And this one is going to be focused on the upcoming uh, workshops or retreats or seminars, or whatever you want to call them, that we're going to do in Europe in the spring and summer and fall of next year. I need to hear from you what is your interest? What are your concerns? How would you like the programs to be organized? Um, and especially, um, how you view our relationship between you and me huh, going into the future. As you know, I'm not <laughs> a conventional type uh, guru. Uh, I think of myself more as a friend and someone who has something valuable to share. What is that? Knowledge and experience. Spiritual life is only possible if you have real knowledge. And that knowledge comes from the scriptures. The knowledge gives the context and your experience is the content. And since context determines meaning, the meaning of your experience is determined by the context in which you hold it. So context is very important. Uh, we've been over this many times, but if you don't have an understanding of a particular phenomenon and how it fits into the whole, then you can't possibly understand its meaning. Uh, you'll get it wrong or you'll miss it completely. And a good example of that is Turiya. Turiya, of course, is the highest state of consciousness. It's the root of consciousness from which all other states of consciousness are derived. So everybody experiences Turiya all the time. <laughs> Yet, how many are actually aware of it? I want to show you the temple across the street. I can't really quite see it from here. There's, you can see just the top of the front gate. Oh, maybe I'll go upstairs on the roof. You can see it from there. So everybody experiences Turiya, but how many are aware of it? Why? 
because they don't have the knowledge. They don't have the background. They don't have the context to interpret their experience. So the experience gets lost and its value is reduced. If you understand consciousness, then you can see that your current state of consciousness, waking, dreaming, sleeping, is derived from Turiya, has its roots in Turiya, and so on. So now we're up on the roof. Let's get a good view of the temple. There we go. Check this out. This is the Durga temple, very ancient temple. Three, four, five hundred years old. Nobody knows for sure. It's very old. Huh? And up here on the roof is where I do my hatha yoga exercise and meditate on our nachala. Can't really see much of him this morning. Uh, let's move this over a little bit. Try to get the right exposure. Now, he's got his jacket on, <laughs> clouds. <laughs> I don't blame him. It's a little bit cool. You know, if I've got a shirt on, it's cool. <laughs> so anyway, context comes from knowledge. That's why we stress so much in all these videos, the context of the scriptures. And a farmer's dog is really an annoyance. Anyway, the scriptures are important because they base our meaning. They give a reference to determine our experience. And of course, they also give many practical pointers how to live our lives in a way that leads to enlightenment. <laughs> so, we want to discuss the scriptures. But we also want to discuss your experience. Scriptural topics are pretty much a one-way deal. After all, you unfortunately can't talk to the authors. In many cases, we don't even know who they were. They remain anonymous. Or they use the name of Vyas, Vyasadev, compiler of the Vedas. Uh, because they are pursuing the same aims, the same goals. But experience requires a dialogue, back and forth, an exchange, a conversation. So to start this conversation, I've made well over a thousand videos. I was going to check on that, wasn't I? <laughs> See how many there actually are. But I don't want to go inside and get on the computer right now. Um, the conversation requires that you can talk to me, not that I just talk to you. So since we're separated now by distance, how can we accomplish that? Well, of course, there are many tools. And during this pandemic time, Zoom, Skype, and, and we prefer Signal Messenger gives a very nice facility for conversations. And these conversations can be audio, text, or video. See where I'm heading with this? <laughs> video conferences, one-on-one. -on -one private conversations. And when it's appropriate, they can be recorded, saved, and put on the YouTube channel for everybody's benefit. That's up to you. If you want to have a video conference, a conversation with me, I welcome that. But you have to install Signal because I don't use the others. I don't like them. They're not secure. They're not private. 
your data is being uh, exploited and used by these different companies like WhatsApp. Oh my God, WhatsApp has the worst security because it's owned by Zuckerberg and he's a, an amoral rascal. So he uses your private conversation as uh, data and sells it. You don't want that. I don't want that. So I use Signal because it gives secure end-to-end -end encryption and really good fidelity in communication, uh, even over video. And YouTube live stream is also good for uh, more one-way type conversations. where you ask questions and I respond, that kind of thing. But it's also good for you to talk to me uh, in a limited way through the chat. Um, so we'll be having that tomorrow at 1 p.m. India time. And I already put in, the, in yesterday's video the times for Europe and so on, and a link to a calendar page that shows you exactly when the uh, live stream is going to take place. But the scheduling of the one-on-one -on -one conversations can be a lot more flexible. Um, from the start, I want to kind of limit those to people who are interested in a personal meeting or attending an event in the future. That's so I don't get uh, overloaded with lots of uh, video chats that really don't go anywhere. The idea is that the chat will lead to an event, a meeting, an encounter, where we get to interact in person. That's my goal. It's always been my goal, even though maybe I I haven't talked it up enough uh, to get much of a response from people, but that's really my goal. I want to meet you. I want to know you. I want to hear from you how you receive this teaching, how you value this teaching, how you practice it, and the benefits that you've got from it. This will help me and I can help you by getting to know you better and how this teaching can benefit you more. So this is my aim. This is my goal. This is why I want to open up now to one-on-one -on -one video conferences. And these can be recorded and uploaded to YouTube or not. That's your preference. You're, you're, I'm already, you know, a public person uh, for good or ill. <laughs> um, I have very little privacy as far as my online activities. But uh, whether you want to expose your side of the conversation is up to you. And I respect your wishes. So I won't record conversations with people who, who don't want that. And that's fine. And uh, finally, the events coming up. Uh, in Europe in the spring, summer, and fall. I need your feedback. I need to hear from you how to organize them for maximum effectiveness. It doesn't matter if only one person shows up, huh? because I'm not doing this to make money. <laughs> you know, I'm doing this to benefit all humanity. That is my aim has always been my aim from the beginning. So that's why I request, when it's appropriate, to record the conversations, because that way the value of that conversation can be amplified, multiplied, many, many times, as other people hear these interactions. Because if you have a question, I guarantee there's a hundred or a hundred thousand people out there who have the same question. I've encountered this many times. 
Um, and I can't anticipate what your questions are because I'm in a different state. <laughs> I'm in, I've been realized since 1984. So it's hard for me to even remember what it's like not to be realized. Of course, we have the guidance of the scriptures, but to actually apply that practically in life, I need to hear from you more about your situation, your expectations, your needs, your background, your history, your desires, your needs, your issues, and so on. Make sense? Okay. So you can always email me. Huh? You can always request, hey, let's have a, a conversation on Signal. You know? Um, you can always come on the chat during the live stream and ask questions or, again, request a private conversation. And I'll agree, and there's no charge for it. The only thing is, like I said, it has to be predicated on the desire to someday actually meet and have a personal direct interaction. So that's enough for now. Aung Tatsat. Aung Shakti Aung.